Back to our top story, Congressman Ron Barber met with his constituents today, carrying on the tradition of his predecessor, Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. Nine on your side, Jessica Chapin just returned from that safe way and heard from some of those constituents today. Jessica, what they say? Well, Tammy, it's a tradition started by Representative Gabrielle Giffords that ended tragically in January 2011 when six were killed and 13 injured, including Giffords and Barber himself. Now, today was an emotional day for many of them reminded of the past but it also represents a new beginning. About 300 people waiting in the desert heat just to shake the hand of Congressman Ron Barber during his first Congress on Your Corner. People like Christy Sullivan had congratulations and concerns to address. I talked to him about um, helping the community and not outsourcing jobs to overseas. 11-year-old Zaina Figueroa wants to meet her representative before visiting Washington after winning the Christina Taylor Green Scholarship. An avid political enthusiast like the scholarship's namesake, one of the shooting victims just nine years old. Another victim and survivor, Patricia Mesh, is also showing support despite the event's painful reminder of the past. It is touching and emotional, but I would be disappointed in myself if there was not still some emotion involved in that incident. Why do you think it's important to continue this event? Because I think it's um, carrying the constituents message directly from the constituent to our congressman and there's no more direct route than that. A route Barber promises to carry on. Whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, they need to be able to have contact in a very personal way. And that's why I did it, and I will continue to do these kinds of events. Events he hopes will help Arizona move forward. I really felt that it was essential to do this. We cannot be scared away from doing our job. And Barbara says he plans on holding meet and greets like this one, as well as town hall meetings in the future. And you know, Jessica, naturally, it seems like there was a lot of talk today, obviously, about January 8th and the tragedy. But what about the constituents? What do they say? What are their issues? And what do they want to see Congress, uh, Congressman Barber do now moving forward? Well, those issues ranged. He says that he talked with people about border issues, veterans help, and the economy. He says he takes all of this information into account from the events like these when he goes to Washington. All right, Jessica. Jessica, thank you.